Hello, Gramophone. Welcome to Can Jam New York City 2020. Uh, here talking about Project Audio Systems components. Uh, my name is Jeff Coates, run sales and marketing for Project, and happy to take you through the line. Got some really cool stuff that we're showing at the show today, based around three different systems from Project. Starting with our S2. So this is our least expensive, high performance European built solutions, focused around our Prebox S2 Digital. That little guy has won all kinds of awards for Project. DAC product of the year from the Absolute Sound last year, Tone Audio product of the year, even won an ISO award for best digital audio product. So we're really excited to be able to show this to a whole group of people. Super flexible little DAC, Meridian MQA hardware decoding, can basically decode just about any audio signal you want to throw at it with excellent fidelity. Has a built-in headphone amplifier, and for most low and sort of high efficiency headphones, it's gonna work really well. However, we're also showing it with our compact Headbox S2, which is a fantastic, fully discreet analog headphone amp that gives us about three quarters of a watt. So if you're looking to drive a higher impedance headphone or something that's really inefficient, that's gonna give you plenty of oomph and is a perfect solution to add to the Prebox S2 Digital for harder to drive headphones. In our second system, we've got the new DS2 line. DS2 steps up to larger chassis, bigger power supply, and more sophisticated audio circuitry. It also allows us to do a full balanced audio connection with our headphones. So again, if you've got a headset that supports a balanced audio connection, it allows us to still get even better performance. A little different DAC solution in the DS2 line. In this case, we actually use a DAC from AKM along with their Verita uh, audio resampling chipset. Very, very different sonic profile than the ESS Sabre DACs that we use in the Prebox S2 Digital. It's super cool to be able to show both solutions and have people be able to go back and forth and listen to the two to see which one they prefer. Lastly, we're showing our brand new ISO award winners and a very exciting product in the RS2 line. This is the first redesign we've had of our RS or reference series of electronics in about seven years. We're super excited to get it out there. Starts with, of all things, a CD transport. Because it's 2020, who doesn't need a CD transport today. Uh, unlike just about every other transport on the market that typically start with a data or Blu-ray drive, we actually work with a company based in Vienna, Austria called Stream Unlimited to develop a brand new CD only transport. So this guy's machined out of a single billet of aluminum, our own custom servo circuit, a very, very sophisticated mechanical suspension and great digital audio circuitry that you expect. This guy comes in at $3,000 and does a fantastic job with all kinds of Redbook CDs, including those encoded with MQA. Very, very rare to find that feature in a CD transport. Below that, we've got our new Prebox RS2 Digital. This takes everything that we learned in the Prebox S2 Digital and adds some really important features. First off, analog inputs. Because for 29 years, if people knew Project for anything, it's gonna be for analog. So nice to have both XLR balanced and RCA analog inputs on this product. Secondly, it takes that same digital engine we use in the Prebox S2 Digital, wraps a full differential solid state and tube preamplifier around it. So this really becomes a fantastic center for the, any high performance audio system. $24.99 for the preamp, and again, $29.99 for the new reference CD transport. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, enjoy the rest of the show.